am uh, very tempted to, uh, you know, you do know, you do you know what? Cut this midsole open and see what that power plate actually looks like. Ooh, it's tempting. Ah, uh, don't be shocked. Puma, Puma, come on now. Here we go, Puma, faster, Nitro Elite, 50, actually well beyond 50 miles. There it is on your screen. We uh, we just got rolling in it and didn't stop. I think that's the highest uh, volume I've taken a shoe to in 2022 thus far. It just kept clicking off those 23 mile long runs. In fact, uh, the last run that I did in the shoe, upper right hand corner, I did take it. 23 miles, 620 a mile, uh, with some pretty good vertical gain in case you want to go watch that vlog. Upper right hand corner, here we go. Let's dive in. A neutral road carbon fiber plate racing shoe with, it's called the power plate inside the midsole. And it's exposed, all right? I'll just show it to you right now. There it is, a very unique design. Fascinating, fascinating Puma, what you're doing with your... I am uh, very tempted to, uh, you know, you do know, you do you know what? Cut this midsole open and see what that power plate actually looks like. Ooh, it's tempting. Ah, uh, don't be shocked if you see that in the not so distant future here on the channel. We're looking at an eight millimeter drop from heel to toe, 38 in the heel, 30 in the forefoot. So not hitting 40, all right? That upper echelon that you're allowed to do uh, based on the world athletic rules, but 38 is moving into definitely into that maximalist category for that stack height. But let's turn on the scale for, I moved the scale up here so maybe you guys can see it a little, probably not. Here we go, in my size, 6.9 ounces. Interesting, because we're also seeing reports for men's size. Now, I don't know, you know, men's size nine coming in at seven ounces. Usually my size would be a little lighter. I did go, where is it? I did go true to size though. So we are, you know, yeah, it's my size. I don't know what to tell you. 6.5 UK, 40 Euro, uh, 25.5 for Japan. Pan, okay, so there you go. I don't know. It's still and this is I you know, uh, it's dried out I, There's no sweat. There's no water inside the shoe right now Okay, so there's my score for the weight not the best a little bit on the higher end with respect to the carbon fiber plate Lineup upper we're looking at a single layer mono mesh with this knit material uh, Around the collar. I was fairly concerned about this knit around the collar But uh, it did well a lot of times those those booty style collars is what they're also called don't hug the ankle well enough so that I feel like I'm slipping out a little bit not the case there's a little bit of extra padding added inside the shoe just the right amount and it reacted well there's a little bit of friction in there not in a bad way though where it reacts well to the socks that I was wearing okay where the, I didn't feel like I was slipping at all through that heel uh, heel pocket or heel counter. Now there's also this little uh, design, this little plastic design here on the on the back. I don't know, maybe for a little added stability feel, or I, I think it's more for aesthetics than anything. But just keep that in mind. There, it is a one. Let me just confirm. Actually, no. Interesting. It's actually more of like a semi gusset through that tongue. Um, there's no extra padding added, really. I don't know, but I didn't feel the laces at all. And I wanted to make a note. The laces felt like they had a little bit, let me just confirm, just a smidge of elasticity built into the laces that locked over the top of the foot really well. There's my score for the lockdown. Um, solid score, not in the eights, but a solid score for the lockdown. Considering, you know, I bet they could add 
a little bit of padding toward the top of the eyelet chain that goes over the top of your foot, just a smidge to make sure. Now, a little ding on the upper score is that I love the breathability Puma through that toe box, but I feel that that mono mesh is not laying on top of the foot quite well enough. Like it's, it's a scrunching up just a smidge. Didn't irritate me. I didn't really even feel it except for when I was lacing and putting the shoes on. Uh, so keep that in mind, like that, that is a ding in my department. I really like when the toe box material lays on top of the foot, basically flat as a, you know, just, it just like hugs the foot a little more so, but it, but uh, it, it didn't impact, I would say the performance at all, but uh, I don't, um, I think that's something they could improve upon next year. All right. But overall, I'm feeling solid about this upper. I really am Puma. Moving on to that Nitro Elite Foam through the midsole. Dual density. This is where durometer, durometer comes into the, comes into the four. Okay. So here we go. Oh man, where to even begin? So ride an energy return. Mm, there. All right. Soak that in. Soak that score in. Here we go. Durometer in the heel. Okay. 47, I had 48 outside uh, when I was uh, getting prepared. This is saying 47 now through the heel, okay? Take note, through the forefoot, here we go. Different, okay? I had 33, let me just find a more flat, right about there, 36. All right, so dual density, and I love it. Um, all right, should I just dive into it now? I was gonna save it, uh, I, I'll just say it now. Stability. On my 23 mile long run last weekend at 620 a mile, there's 2,000 feet of vertical gain on that loop that I do. And I was attempting to feel unstable underfoot in this shoe. I couldn't do it. It felt so stable and frankly, quite a bit different than the Nike Next Percent 2, which I also took on that exact same loop for the past like two weeks before I tested this shoe on that same loop. So there's a lot of downhill, uphill, downhill, sharp corners, also sand on the road, on the paved road because it's winter time. And so the, the sand trucks put out uh, sand for the snow and the ice. I just could not create an unstable feel in this shoe. I think part of it, part of it is because of this dual density setup they've got going. I'm excited, everybody. All right, so there's my scores. Overall, I'm, I'm, so that, in that power plate, let's do this. Oh, hold on. Brace yourself, brace yourself. All right, time out, time out. Hold, and time in. Hmm, interesting, okay. So that was the Nike Next Percent 2. I don't know. I don't know, everybody. It's feeling pretty zesty with that carbon fiber plate. Unofficial, unscientific bend. To, it just feels responsive. It feels very, that power plate, okay? There you go. Outsole, Puma Grip, high traction rubber, all right? Eight and a half out of 10. Oh, I just, so it's a wide four foot landing. Again, back to that stable ride feel under step. Very, very interesting, all right? Eight and a half out of 10 fit, went true to size, no issues, didn't feel like I was scrunching in the toe box or the midfoot or the heel, definitely not. Uh, so fit was solid. I didn't, yeah. And I was a little, again, a little concerned about that collar wrapping around comfort score. Um, it's not an RC Elite 2 type comfort score, not that squishy. Actually, let's do this Durometer <laughs> test as well. Yeah, mm, nice, nice, okay. Mmm, man, it's nice, everyone. It's a nice little forgiveness under step. You're not gonna feel, you know, it's not the Audios Pro, Pro 2. It's frankly not even the Nike. It's, it's got a little bit of comfort built into that midsole and the upper was fine as well. Um, and again, it's a racing shoe, so I'm not quite as concerned about comfort in a racing shoe. Positive is the stable ride. Drawback is the scrunching through the toe box. Durability prediction. 350 plus, I'm going 350 plus. A smidge of creasing at 70, what is it? 78 miles roughly is I think what it, it, we're at now. A little bit of, but not too shabby. And I think that upper, the upper should last. I don't see any wear and tear signs on the upper at this point. All right, who is the best for? If you, this is, this is tough, but if you want, well, first of all, stable ride, but a new player 
in the 2022 carbon fiber plate game. All right, we need a new player on the scene. We got it. We got it. This is, I'm not saying it's, I don't know if it's better. Actually, we're gonna get to the uh, price point right now. There it is, $220, pretty standard at this point, okay? Uh, 250 is on the higher end, 275 is definitely, 200 is real nice, you know, 200 is real nice. So 220, fairly standard at this point in the carbon game. Now, other shoes to buy on your screen, okay? I am, this is hard, but if I had to choose shoes in order, there they are on your screen, I think I'll put it in the, as close to the Endorphin Pro 2 as possible, as far as feel under step. It's hard, it's hard. But the, and then Metaspeed Sky, Next% 2, Audios Pro 2. RC Elite 2 is just so soft. Um, maybe the RC Elite 2 actually would bump ahead of the Pro 2 now that I think of it. But anyway, there's the other shoes to buy in case you're interested in picking, it up, picking them up down below in the description. All right, quick specs, uh, soak them in one more time. Single, single layer mono mesh, Nitro Elite Foam, and that $220 Price point, full review score, hello, 7.75 out of 10. That's awesome. Solid, solid Puma. I mean, once again, Puma's kind of shining through in 2022. I, uh, sorry, in 20, from 2021, into the momentum continues from last year. You know, they kind of took the, the running shoe world a little bit by storm last year. Not, you know, not crushing it, but a little bit. And I think they're just, they're not taking their foot off the gas with this guy, the Puma Faster Nitro Elite. I'm excited. Don't be shocked if we see that plate revealed very, very soon. Comment of the day, question of the day. Here we go. Can you get the comment of the day? When I think of Puma, I think of the very first pair of running shoes I ever got when I joined my high school track team in 1970. They actually gave us a pair. That's amazing that your high school track team gave you a pair of shoes of Puma running shoes. They were black with rounded toe boxes, and I believe they were really for sprinters, not middle distance guys. I wish I had a picture or could remember the name. Ken, a throwback. I love it. I love it. I love it. Question of the day, when do you feel truly alive? I know this is kind of big, broad, hit pause, reflect, think, just uh, let it marinate a little bit. When do you feel truly alive? Oh, I've got, there's so many instances, but uh, that's the question of the day. All right, we will toss it to, um, we'll toss it to the Puma, actually, no, 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 the carbon fiber plate playlist. Carbon fiber plate playlist. Okay, right there, right there, right there. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.